Hey folks, Amy here, voice actor for Seven Lamb Productions. If you're looking for a fun, funny, action-packed audio drama, look no further than Seven Lamb Productions' Atlas Avenue Beat. A spoof of the film noir genre, Atlas follows private investigator James Locke as he solves crimes, fights baddies, and woos dames. You can find the podcast at sevenlamb.com or search for Atlas Avenue Beat wherever you listen to podcasts. everyone and welcome to another episode of will there be cake oh wow my name is robert lamb with me as always amber simpson what up what up and you know what amber simpson what? i'm in a fiery mood today Ooh, fiery and i came here to kick butt and chew bubble gum and chew bubble gum and guess what what i'm all out of bubble gum oh no so it's time to kick some butts and take some names and take some names until you get your bubble gum until somebody gives me some bubble gum because that's <laughs> what i'm demanding <laughs> But why am I in such a fiery mood and wanting to kick butts, Amber Simpson? Because it's National Kick Butts Day. Kick butts. And now, is it actual uh, kick butts, like fight like people? Like literally kick butts? It's not, no. What is it? Is it like a cigarette thing? Yeah. Is it? Yes, it is. Oh, my God. <laughs> people still smoke cigarettes? Yeah. Yeah, they do. Yeah. I see. Not people. many, though. No? No. Is it down? I mean, I don't I, like. I don't know statistically, but I I remember used to everyone used to smoke cigarettes. Now everybody vapes. Yeah, or they yeah they vape. People have some... like finally realized. Maybe it was all those uh, commercials driving to work, listening to that person that had to have the uh, the uh, hole in their uh, neck, uh, and they're like, uh, uh, "I smoke cigarettes uh, uh, for twenty five years." <laughs> yeah, I mean that's true. Though. <laughs> I hated those commercials. Would, uh, Every time I change the channel, and, and then it'd be another one. I'm like, God damn it! I don't even smoke cigarettes. I don't want to listen to this person talking about how they're dying because they smoke cigarettes all their lives. Not my fault. Yeah, not my fault. But it sucks for I them mean, anyway. Some so, of them still smoke through the hole in their neck. I know, too, what which the is fuck so is wrong like, oh god. So it's a day of anti-smoking activism. See, the reason why I knew that is because in Jurassic Park, uh, Samuel Jackson's <laughs> character, Ray Arnold, says, uh, hold on to your butts. Like every time he goes to do something, like grabbed on the computer. grabbed a cigarette. Well, no, but he was always smoking. And I always thought like, I always thought he meant like actually grab onto your butt, like hold on for dear life. But I think he meant like the cigarette. Really? But I don't, I don't know for sure. I thought I read that somewhere that he just meant hold on to your butts because he always had a cigarette like handy. He was oh, always smoking. But I don't know. That could be true. I don't know if that's. Which makes it less fun. So let's not spread that. Yeah. I mean, I don't true know. True story. Is it butts is still B-U-T-T-S? So yeah. That's still. It could, it could be either one. I like butts. Yeah. And you cannot lie. And I can't <laughs> not lie. Um, so teachers, kids, youth leaders, and health ad- advocates, advocates, they all participate Adkivits. in today with a bunch of like events to raise awareness. Uh, the problem of tobacco use in their communities, encourage kids to stay tobacco-free, and try to get anti-tobacco legislation passed. Mm -hmm. So the first uh, campaign for tobacco-free kids and the first uh, Kick Butts Day was in 1996. That's pretty old. That is pretty old. I was was in middle school. Yeah. I mean, uh, we went through that, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to show sense. you, like, a person who smokes cigarettes, like, throat and shit. Oh, yeah. yeah I cool. remember having a substitute teacher one time who had the, mm, like, yeah. that thing. Whoa, and really? I remember, yeah, and then that's when I was like, yeah, I'm not smoking. <laughs> <laughs> that actually was one of the things that I was like, yeah, I'm not going to smoke. <laughs> I'm good. Damn. So have you ever even smoked a cigarette? Have I've never smoked a one? cigarette. I've smoked a cigar. Cigar, okay. And, yeah. I've, I've, I've definitely smoked some cigarettes, but I've never, like... Bought my own pack of cigarettes. Right, right, right. Well, I mean, I have before someone else. <laughs> I, it's just funny because, like, they always talked about, like, peer pressure. And for the most part, I never really had that. Like, my friend, I remember one time all my friends were smoking. They're all smoking cigarettes. We we're all hanging out. And this one, like, a friend of mine was just like, hey, do you want one? I was like, no. He's like, okay. 
Yeah. And that was it. I was like, Nobody's all right, like, I just never had to deal with. You should do it. Yeah. You should try it. Just it's do really it, man. good. Just do it once. No, just once. I mean, it doesn't, I've, I've had some people good. like jokingly do that with other stuff, but like not cigarettes. I was just like, nah, I'm good. No, like, okay. Yeah. I, I smoked cloves for a little bit. And like, not, again, like I didn't buy them, but like my friends would smoke them. So I'd like bum them off of them because yeah. those were tasty. Yeah. I made your lips taste like cherry. And that's why they stopped making them. <laughs> oh, well, <laughs> maybe. Yeah, except that, like, I always wonder, like, with the vaping stuff, like, is there enough, like, studies yet? Uh, I'm, Yeah, I mean, they've already come out, like, some of it is unhealthy for you, but, I mean. Yeah, the but thing they don't is, know to the extent, right? Right. Yeah, I don't think so. But the thing is, is, like, it's getting people, it's not as, bad I think as they've, they've proven it's not as bad for you as cigarettes. So uh, it's be- like a lot of people are using it as a way to stop smoking cigarettes. And I'm not trying to like <laughs> but pick you on can anybody, still... but I think it's like one of those things. Like I just wonder, it's the same with like energy drinks. Like I know they know they're bad for you, right. but I wonder to what extent. And I drink energy drinks and I'm like, in 50 years from now, is it going to be like, don't drink those like battery acid and like it yeah. destroys you like, yeah, or causes like a certain disease mm-hmm. or something like that. I like, think they're I don't know. still doing testing, and it's the same thing with like now that weed is legal in a lot of places. There's the 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 weed vape pens, um, right? And they've done they found a lot of like ones that were made cheaply, so there's a lot of chemicals in them that harm you. So like that was a big thing for a while, um, but they're, I think they're still doing tests on studies on that too. But generally, if you buy it from like a medical marijuana place, then it's not going to have something bad in it that's going to kill you, right? But even that, they still don't know. But smoking weed for you is a lot better than smoking cigarettes. Yeah, if you have like the nicotine and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, in it, like uh, it's it's that nicotine. That nicotine gets you, gets you gets addicted you. too. Yeah, right, that's why I need some gum. Yeah, that's true. Uh, See, yeah, you didn't even know, and it worked gum. out. <laughs> nicotine bubble gum. <laughs> so blow bubbles with my nicotine gum. <laughs> Gross. I wonder if you even can. Probably not. I don't think so. They don't make it like. I don't think it's supposed enough. to be like fun and like. <laughs> Just like, just like with my girlfriend downtown, <laughs> like from the eighties, just blowing bubble gum and twirling our hair. Yep. Yeah. Um, health warnings first appeared on U.S. tobacco and cigarette packaging in the nineteen sixties. Yeah. Um. What else? I mean, everybody smoked back then. It was so cool. Um, the World Health Organization. Uh, Organization adopts the Framework Convention on Tobacco Control, which promotes awareness against smoking using labels in 2003. And still going strong, the British Heart Foundation's campaign still surges forward with the 2020 motto, Tobacco Breaks Your Heart. Nice. (laughs) Nice. Nice. So, uh, yeah, smoking kills. Don't smoke. Yeah. Bad for you. Yeah, don't smoke, guys. Yeah. Find something else to do. According to the CDC, tobacco use remains the single largest preventable cause of death and disease in the United States. Say it again for the folks in the back. About 480,000 Americans die every year from smoking. That's crazy. And National Kick Butts Day is helping to decrease these numbers. I mean, yeah. I I don't see a lot of like younger people smoking as much as... Back in the day, yeah, I think it's like vaping is it's a thing. Because me working at the theater, I uh, uh, there was it hasn't been recently, but I, there was like a crew I had like two years ago that were like big into vaping, and we would like catch them vaping like while they were working, and then get them in trouble. But and then those stupid little jewel, the jewel pods and shit all over the fucking floor. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. I think it's become less of a thing now. But none of the kids, I don't think any of the kids I work with now smoke anything, <clears throat> but. The adults I work with do, or at least a couple. And yeah. Nicole still smokes cigarettes like they're going uh, out of style. Dang. <laughs> it's not good for you. Yep. But not good. So uh, just celebrate today if you want. I don't know, like organize event in your community. Just quit. Just, just quit. quit cold quit, turkey right quit now. Quit smoking today. Find an al- alternate plan. There's a lot of like health insurance that helps you stop smoking now. Oh, yeah. Really? Yeah, like you can get free stuff. Uh, okay. You get like patches or... Uh, I should start smoking just to quit smoking and ooh, get free stuff. Free stuff. <laughs> <laughs> that seems really pointless. I end up ruining my life and like get really big into drugs and <laughs> wake up in a ditch, but I get my free hat. 
Yeah. Yeah. Talk to your child about the dangers of smoking. What if you don't have children? Should you talk to other people's children? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They'll like that. <laughs> but try and make it fun. No kids like a lecture. And I'll some kids a clown. Uh, will do it if you tell them not to. So maybe tell them to smoke. Tell them how cool it is and maybe they won't do it. <laughs> it's weird. Like my, I don't think my mom or dad ever like really sat me down and told me not to smoke. I think I just, I just always heard it from. Yeah, I don't think school. Mine did either. I don't know. I think my mom like asked me a couple times, like later on in life, but it was like, like after even high school, she's like, "Did you ever smoke?" Or I'm like, "No." Good for you, Robert Lamb. I know. Good for both of us. Yeah. Never getting addicted to ba- to tobacco. Yeah. Yeah, no, I wouldn't want it. Plus, it's so expensive. Stinks. Remember when, do you remember when you used to be able to smoke cigarettes inside of a restaurant? Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) I do kind of miss uh, Mastery's, being able to smoke inside of Mastery's, because the only time I do smoke, even still, which isn't rarely anymore, is when I drink, and it was, like, mostly when I drink liquor, so, Mm -hmm. uh, because it gives you, like, it kind of, like, gives you a little bit more energy and stuff, uh. But that was the only time I used to smoke. And they used back then they used to have like people who would walk around and give you a free pack of cigarettes if you like signed up for emailing lists and stuff. Uh-huh. Yeah, I remember. That. I remember sitting in a bar downtown and that happening. But, but yeah, I remember because my parents own or my grandparents own Skyway Jacks, and there's a smoking section, yeah. it's a tiny building. So like, the yeah, whole it doesn't place really matter. Yeah, right. <laughs> Which is crazy Kissing to think about was now. Like that too. Kissing yeah. cousins. I remember going in there. And, like my dad would always be like non-smoking, and both my parents used to smoke. They both quit when my mom got pregnant. Oh, really? So like nice. they both had to quit. My dad actually had to quit. I think a little bit earlier because he had asthma, and they said that it was actually affecting his asthma. So he quit, and then my mom quit when she got pregnant, and they actually stopped completely. Yeah. So I think it's just gross now. Like they said, it wasn't easy. It, fuck it. Oh yeah, no. Yeah. Uh, that's I believe that's really it. Um, Adam had to quit. He, I think he smoked cigarettes when he was younger, but he did the dip, but not uh, like, but yeah, like yeah, the same. little packets or whatever, which is still awful for that you. So he he had he had struggle. Like he had, he had uh, he got like really cranky for a while. He had trouble sleeping, and it's not an easy thing to quit. But. Yeah. Uh, do it anyway. And you got to be careful because if you do it again, you can instantly pick it back up. Yep. You can't just have one cigarette here yeah. or there. You just... It's like alcohol. I mean, with alcoholism, it's the same thing. Like, if you're an alcoholic, like, you got to completely stay away from drinking. Because if, sometimes if you just have one drink, right back. Right there. back to it. On the wagon. On or the off wagon. the wagon. I don't remember which one it is, but <laughs> something about a wagon. Something about a wagon. All, All right. right. Well, well, do we have a cake? <laughs> Uh, have a cake instead of a cigarette. That's true. Eat food. Eat food. Eat food instead of cigarettes. Yeah. I mean, don't eat cigarettes, but Ew. instead of smoking cigarettes. Kick those butts to yeah. the curb. Yeah. But, like, don't litter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and have eat a, a cake. cake. <laughs> eat a cake. That's how we're going to celebrate. Don't smoke and have a cake. Yeah. All right. Well, for Amber, for myself, that does it for this episode. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>